Hey guys, it's Brittany, bitch. Okay, so for how long have you been owning a shitbox? I guess like one and a half years now. Okay. And why are you here? Because I'm your friend. And I like cars and you work on cars and oh. I work on cars too. That's why we work together on cars. Are you forklift certified? No, I can't drive a forklift. <laughs> why? I never driven one. What is your opinion on Ford? I sadly work at a Ford dealer. I'm kinda gay, I guess, but it's it has no rights to be on streets. Why are you doing this to yourself? I don't know. I'm mentally not stable. So I like this shit that I'm doing, but when I'm home I'm crying. I'm just crying. Okay, that is a pretty common answer for the previous guys that were here. Yeah. Thank you. Is your shitbox fast? Fast in burning oil and gas, mm. but not fast on driving fast. It's a C28, of course it's fast. Tell a little bit about your shitbox. Yeah, it's a 1980 Chevrolet Camaro. C28. It's fast. Really fast. Lightning. Yeah. Four barrel V8, of course. Is it the original engine or? No, it's from the car. How do you know? Because it got ten valve covers, and it's not a four bolt. Oh my God! You got a four, four bolt, four bolt, four bolt. And then we replaced the old pan gasket, and it looked into it. And so not four bolts, but two. The last videos kind of blew up so we got a lot of comments going with that and i thought we read uh, we would read some of them um, let's, see. let's read some comments Stop with the long stick figure shit. No. What do you say to the long stick figure shit? You never laughed at all. I really, I really am. The next comment is Don't worry, Mo Pu Potku. I guess it's Polish for I don't know what. Casper Avril said, Why is it the priority to start the thing then drive? Question mark, question mark. This and the other videos are into it. Aren't you at risk of blowing an internally abused or end-track car? Man, I totally agree with mode of we pass road. Never try to never try starting a car that has been standing for long periods of time without special preparation, let alone 20, 30, 40 or 50 years. And uh, exposed to the elements. Maybe I'm missing something. Yes, that is correct. But unfortunately, I'm an experienced idiot. And there are other cases where I don't know what I'm doing. We don't. We don't often then we, we don't talk about it. Okay. Kraftwerk workshop, interesting and different in a good way. I mean, thanks, but I don't know what you're trying to tell us. <laughs> we have a uh, comment from Dominic Otto. Um, Ha 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 ha, what was the way too much? Perfect comment. Lol, I'm, I'm telling Derek about this. <laughs> yes, Derek was the inspiration for a lot of this. It's not like I'm stealing content because I couldn't. Another comment from Dominic Otto. What was that blue stuff on the seat? Did Walter White own this car at some point? Also, what is wrong with all those spiders? You guys are lucky there's no black widows in Germany. You should clean the whole car before, before you start working on it and don't forget the mask next time you handle black mold. By the way, 
Getting a 1960s US car to run is not that hard. Getting it street legal for Germany is going to be a long, hard road uh, by the condition I saw in this video. Ah. And by the condition I saw in this video, you will run into unknown problems sooner or later. But you can do it. Stay focused on targets and in a year or two you maybe have a nice, great classic car. I wish you motivating I wish you motivation, some luck with unexpected money coming your way and loads of fun while working on this. Thank you. Uh, I'm pretty sure Walter White didn't own this car, but since the guy that owned the car went to jail, it might be affiliated with some criminal activities that happened in the past, I don't know. Getting a street legal itself is also not the problem, it's just a matter of getting the car back in shape. Uh, all you have to do is uh, put some hazards in the car, some hazard flashers, uh, and then you should be able to drive it on the street. Okay guys, we got a German comment, very rare occasion. He says, Cogito Ergo Sum says, Hoch interessant, schöner Wagen, fieser Zustand, bin gespannt auf weiteres. Habe gerade Probleme mit meinem Kühler bei dem bei meinem Cadillac Sedan Deville 65. Mal sehen. Der Ton des Gesprochenen könnte besser sein, aber das Motor Sounds kommt gut rüber. Viel Erfolg weiterhin. Thank you very much. We, uh, we appreciate your motivation very much. And Jesus, you said you need to speak louder. Yes. The audio on the first video wasn't that great because we had still had to get a feel for how loud we have to talk. But also I am planning on getting some external microphones. Good job, great car. Keep up the good work. Man, love to see more please. Thank Toronto, Canada. Canada is nice. Canada is really nice. A bit cold, but very nice. Yes. G. Novin says, hello Mr. L. <laughs> that would be me. Yeah, that's no, it's Mr. G for Jesus, you know. I wouldn't have thought about spiders would survive the weather, but you've done a hell of a lot of bodywork there. Work on your sound in the videos. Everyone says that. We are very calm. <laughs> yeah, I would be happy about a German subtitle. I am German. still working on that. At the end of March, I will visit you and watch live. <laughs> Thumbs up for the content of the video. Looking forward to more readings, Daddy of Mr. D. Nice video, I got a 76. It's definitely a labor of love if you do decide to restore. Yeah. No shit, Sherlock. Kevin Costello said, This is a great bit. Every original format and approach here. Love in the 80s, Andre Agassi hair thing. I had to, I had to Google who that is. <laughs> I don't even know, but I, I love how he said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just a man with long hair. Mm -hmm. And being a car guy myself, it's always appreciated watching someone save these piece of rolling artwork. Big old luxury cars <laughs> like this are a time when Detroit used to build cars we wanted. Remember those days? I do. Again, great video, guys, and please keep them, keep them coming. A lot of unexpected comments. I didn't think it would blow up like this. I thought it would get a bit more views than the first Camaro videos, but uh, not like this. And uh, to have like so many comments on this is weird. And like very nice comments. A great classic save. Excited to see where this project leads. Yeah. So am I. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> Fraser O'Brien again. Oh. Good job, man. Damn Rust. No one likes a damn Rust, Toronto, Canada. <laughs> I think he likes his, his, like, where he lives, he represents it, you know? He, yes, in every yes, comment yes, he likes yes. Toronto, Canada. And uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. No one likes damn Rust. John McDermott said, fortunately, it did not have vinyl roof, which collects rust. Yes, that is very much correct. Uh, because the moisture builds up on 
between the vinyl and the sheet metal. Uh, and once it's there, it uh, cannot go anywhere, cannot leave. Mm -hmm. I like a car without rust. Cogito Ergo Sum. I love the names. <laughs> yeah, and none of the German comment. Ah, Hochdruckreiniger kann was. Sieht schon viel besser aus, der Cadillac. Und kein Vinylder. Super. That videos actually uh, answer the question that I had. Because I didn't know where the wiper tank would sit. And he said, in the original wiper tank sit next to the power steering pump, just behind the radiator. And uh, I look in there and yes, there are some bolt holes for that there. And so other than that, there's not really another location available to place it. Cadillac, it has stuff. It's not a Camaro. <laughs> Rock Uh Stated in the comments how to get the door panels apart. I will address that comment again in the video because we are going to take the door panels and stuff apart. It's a very long comment. We will read that later. But thanks for the tips. <laughs> I'm gonna remove the switch for the, <laughs> yeah. for the window actuator. Window actuator. Window up and down switch. A washer and wiper actuator. So for how long have you been doing videos? 10 seconds. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. You have any idea what you're doing? No, no clue. Those clips here are part of the switch. You need to bend them out. Uh, I see. Don't break them. I don't break them. Well, this is supposed to stay in the switch, but... Fucking damn it. That sounds crunchy. No, I, I would take this, take take this to screw off. I'm still a student. Yeah, he's he's my apprentice. Interesting. I'm supposed to get the fucking boat out without removing this thing. All right, let's, uh, maybe unscrew this. Can you fucking just pull the camera? No. I don't want two Camaros. Get one, one fucking Camaro that runs, and then <laughs> crash it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. How the fuck is... Uh. Makes sense. Yep. <clears throat> Sad story. You may want to unscrew this. Damn, that's a thick bolt. It's a screw. At this point, it's a bolt. How in the fucking hell long is this thing? Damn. How in the fucking fucking piece of shit car? Hmm. How the fucking... Next time, just fucking ball camera. Or a Mustang. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> they are cool Mustangs. Out there. Like in the junkyard or something. <laughs> <gasps> nice. Oh, in the, in the hand. Uh, How's this work? Well, you can look in the comments from the last video. I think someone mentioned it there. I'm pretty stupid and... Uh... I'm not sure if this is supposed to come out with the screw, but... 
All right. Do you, you need, need to take it out? Well, yeah, because... Oh, I see, I see. So, comments. Stop destroying my car. Someone said in the comments, the interior front door panels are difficult to remove because of the bolt on the door latch on, on the armrest. The armrest does not come off to get access to the bolt. You must remove the chrome cover. Yeah, that is the one that is missing apparently. Once it is off, you can only turn the bolt one eighth of a turn. It takes forever. Pulling it back in is worse because if you drop that little bolt, you must take the panel back off to retrieve it. Once you get the door opener off, it is easy. You need an Allen wrench to remove the knob for the remotely controlled side view mirror. Yeah, that is the left side. To remove the driver's side door remover, there's a large Phillips head screw and a door jam. The window motors can be all repaired and greased. They have metal plugs to rust off or soldered. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, the plugs. Alright, let me, let, me, let me check that. Guys, I was wondering. Last night I was laying in my bed and I thought, is an El Camino a truck or a car? Because it's technically a pickup, but it's technically also a car. Tell me in the comment section what you guys think about it. Show our thoughts. There's no screw there. Oh. Nice. The car isn't complete. No, it's a shitbox. Yeah. So, technically, it's loosey doozy. Uh, I'm not sure about this here. Um, yeah, we just need to hang it on. Uh, please don't. Just give me the crew. But maybe it is screwed from this side and also from the back side, and this comes off with the door panel. I'm not sure. Yeah, but it's like too weakly to be screwed on, you know? Like, well, you can, you can like do this, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, Grab, grab the side from, from there and push it up like this. Does it work? Although on my, on my side it works. Careful. Well, it's a door panel. You got it, man? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Finger tactics. <laughs> yeah. Your girlfriend will be proud of you. Uh, <laughs> that looks actually really nice. It's flat of me. It's red, not gold. It's been painted. Ah. I'm not too sure about that because the trim tag says it is gold from the factory, so I guess. Yeah, the trim tag says it's gold, but technically it's rusty. Yeah, I know. So, yeah, let's just leave this on for now. Ooh, rust! It's technically the same procedure as the other door, but we heat up. Well, yeah, with the addition that the uh, mirror is on this side. Can't you lift it out no more? No. Because the cobble... Okay. The cobbles. The cobbles. cobbles. <laughs> German Denglish. Like I also said to Jesus, I uh, did an apprenticeship for working on cars in Germany here. We call it Ausbildung because it's much more crazy than relationship. <laughs> Maybe you should try to pry it with a screwdriver. This weighs like four kilos. I mean, this is this weighs like Light? eight butt lights. You fucking need to stop drinking, man. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> you need to take this off. Yeah, but it's also screwed from the back. Mm, no, 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 no. This right here. Yeah, but it's screwed like... Oh, okay. It's, it's nothing. Down there. I said nothing. This is the uh, trim part that is missing on the other side. You bought an incomplete car. You yeah, unfortunately. You said to me it was complete, you fucking liar. Yeah, I know. There's supposed to be a screw there, but it's missing. Just wiggle it. You know, like the meme with the calendar? Calendar? Like in January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, the, the Jason is in the month, and uh, there's also this meme with the uh, Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Saturday. Saturday. I need a fucking screwdriver. 
Okay, you need a screwdriver. I broke it. Nice. I mean, now you know how this part is Assembled. removed. Yeah. Like now I can like, flex on my knowledge. My knowledge. The whole car is like glued on. You get an Allen key. <laughs> yeah, I need to get that from the car. You do that. I do like this yeah. spinny spinny thing. <laughs> No. I can't see this shit. You already did the other side. Yeah, it was luck! <laughs> ah. There it is. Please do jump. Nice. Nice. If I am correct, you need to remove this screw here. For what? To get the mirror out. But why now? Well, because you need to lift the door panel up to get it off its hinges right here. Why is it called Philip's head and not like, I don't know, Justin's head? Oh. Yeah, that sounds nice. I guess someone bent this because of... Pull it up, boy. I'm trying. Oh. This is bent. These long, big ass screws, not a bolt. <laughs> you know, like this spinny, spinny thing that's threads. The lathe. Yes. Yeah. And you do, you do this. Are you then the machine that threads? Because it's a machine, right? Mm, no. Just yank it. No. I'm not too sure. Pretty sure the comment the comment section is going wild right now. <laughs> I just hope someone can answer my question with the uh, El Camino. Ooh, there's light down here, I didn't even see. This is our problem. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. This is what I saw. This little thing here. And I saw the bolt down here. Uh, but I wasn't sure how this is connected. Yeah, and since it's, there was dirt on the bolt, this could have been avoided, but, well, now we're here. Ow. I have to decide on what to do with the door panel, because this is a bit trashed down there. Not from me poking around. It was like this and also... This isn't right. How the fuck is the door panel rusting? Come on, bro. Come on. You, you've seen the car. Yeah. Like, it, it f fucking amazed me that the glass isn't even rusting. No, but the glass is broken. No? The windscreen's also broken. No? Yeah. I just noticed it. I know, I know. No, don't, don't, don't destroy it. Ah, okay. Ah, I see. I see too. Hmm. What the fuck is this? It's a light switch. <laughs> Just put the blanket over there. Yeah, it's gone then. Yeah, now it's now it's not even there. Yeah. Do you see rust hole? No, I don't. I don't see rust holes. Can you like get me a smaller? I'm not even sure if this switch is uh, original because it's weirdly hanging there. Like everything else in the car. Yeah. 
It's fucking rusted oh. so <laughs> It's rusted. It's, like... to, it's rusted to the cover. I've never seen that. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. It's like fucking all fucking pieces of... God damn. Yeah. God fucking damn. Well, this is not in very good shape. Oh, I never seen fucking Philips rust so bad. It looks like it talks to. Well, damn. Can you like unscrew this screw for me? Yes. Just don't move. You need to stay in the car for hour now. I love that my Camaro has not rust. Well. That's so fucking. What the fuck is this? Well, maybe just leave it in for now until I know for sure how this is removed. That's tight. You're stronger than me. Oh boy. Yeah, go close down. Hammer yeah. time. Huh? <laughs> Ross is falling through. Fire in the hole. Looks a bit rusty. There it goes. Beep beep. Move it like you can. Move your hands in the air. <laughs> and do it like you just don't care. Okay. Mm -hmm. See those slotted things back there? Those are nuts. Okay. Pretty sure it's not going to work, but it works. MacGyver! Like MacGyver is like in my Instagram DMs and like he's asking me how I do such things to be like so cool. Uh, shut the fuck up. Okay. You're not MacGyver, you're like MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> Only Germans understand. Oh wait, wait, wait! You need to take the ring from this off. It's also not. Yeah, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's not working. I need to get a set of pliers for that. Wait. Uh, here you go. <sighs> nice. I don't need your pliers. Uh, threads are not in the best shape, so it gets stuck at a certain point. That was my problem of taking it out. Maybe we need to, to perform some troubleshooting on this. Ah, I see it. Look down there. There is a, um, a holder bracket. Yeah, nice. It's a bit heavy, right? Oh, yeah. Not the Oh. It's a bit heavy. It's a bit rusty, but it's maybe savable. Well, this sounds bad. Looking forward to disassemble this. There's also one right next to the uh, ignition switch. No, to, to the right of the ignition switch. Yeah, right there. The ignition switch is way too big to fit through that. Oh shit, let's do some troubleshooting. <laughs> so after a bit of troubleshooting, we got this out. And I think the reason why it got stuck at some point, you can see the threads are all fucked up. The camera focuses. That's all fucked up because I think the key has to be in there or something or it has to be switched to the on position or something because you can see these little knobs right here and I think those have to go in a bit but at the same time the front cover of the ignition switch has the same diameter so I'm really not too sure how to get this off 
without breaking anything. I mean, now that I see it, the threads on the ignition switch itself could be repaired, but other than that, uh, I looked into here and the well, ignition switch itself is pretty trashed and I also don't have a key for it, so I need a new one. I'm pretty sure it's connected down here somewhere as well. Well, I can't really see anything from up here. Huh. <laughs> well, well, right yeah. about there. I see something from here. Hi guys. <laughs> the next day and I'm still laying down. I slept overnight in this rusting like queen car. So much electrics, it scares me. Ouch. You look so happy right now. I am. I am <laughs> the happiest person alive. Like my fellow YouTube friend, Jesus. <laughs> said in one of his videos, if you ever come to Germany, just leave. If you ever come to Germany, just leave. Like I'm that kind of person, so I, I like what I'm doing. Like I like, I love cars, but I swear at them so bad every time I work on them. Like, but why? If my, if my Camaro can speak German, but not even drive me a single meter. We don't say mile here, we say Kilometer. Mm. Oh, centimeter. You can see the water line where the water was sitting. That sounds a bit rusty. I feel like whenever you try to unscrew something it's like oh yeah you have to unbolt this to get to the light switch and then you have to do a backflip and turn three times and ah. uh, it's not original so it comes out. Uh -huh. ah. oh. Nice, that's broken. Eh. Okay. That as well. It's broken. Oh, that also will break. How the fuck man? Oh, Jesus. Uh -huh. This should be all of the bolts. Damn. It might be a bit heavy. So taking the whole cluster out didn't work at all, but uh, we figured it out how to get the dash out. Oh, that's pretty fucking heavy. So yeah, this is the dash. It's pretty heavy. That bitch is heavy. Uh, th there are two of these with those two bolts. Uh, it is mounted to the frame. <laughs> it is it is mounted to the frame, and this bracket right here mounts to the uh, speedometer assembly itself and what I could not see uh, you could only feel but you have to know is that this screw exists so if you undo this and the other side and then the two on the top you could theoretically just slide it out so 
I didn't know that, but now I know. Now that the speedometer cluster assembly stuff is out, let's try to make this episode fuck off less cluster fucky uh, as it already is and try to get this whole thing up. First, let me remove this air duct hose. Yeah, professional remover. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea how to connect those connectors again when we assemble it finally at some point. Uh, for that, I have to buy a shop menu. I hope you can see better what I'm actually doing here. But in the meantime, be aware that I don't see anything myself because well I can't really tell what I'm doing in here if I'm correct this is the control module for the automatic headlights but I may be mistaken yeah that is uh, absolutely factory okay Please don't. I don't want to break it because this is very expensive. And then, hopefully, should be able to take this off, finally. So let's pull this bag out and also put this somewhere. cable here that I think it's the antenna. This connector looks very important so I better not destroy it. Alright so now technically we're free. First try. First try. Ich hab. Ja. Well, that was something else. There are some cables, but only a few. This is the connector for the light switch uh, hazards. Those are not original. Uh, this is the connector for the photo lens for the Night Sentinel. Uh, brake pedal switch. I'm not sure what this is. This ties in I don't know where. Yeah, and we have all sorts of relays, blinker relays, uh, bulbs. I'm pretty much sure I know what this is, but I can't name it at the moment. This is the uh, ignition switch. No, I'm no, no, no. This is for the horns, blinkers, uh, and I don't know what else. Down here, uh, this connector is also still on. This switch here has these vacuum hoses on the back. Those are to release the parking brake. And also, this is the. Oh, oh there it goes. The neutral safety switch and um, the rear driving lights. There are supposed to be some air duct hoses there as well and there. Well, at least we can see for now. This is what is left of the air duct hose. I'm pretty much sure that I can repair this. No, I cannot. There is still... I mean, look at this. Nice. Yeah, I'm not really sure what this is, but I would say that this ties into the Night Sentinel. Yeah, guide matic uh, guide matic guide lamp, yeah. This is expensive. 
and also there was the connector that I said was very important. I'm not really sure what was on here from the factory. When I got the car I did some troubleshooting and under the dash was uh, a switch installed which had these two in it. I uh, wasn't pretty sure what this switch was for so I pulled those and uh, tied them together to see what happens. But yeah, nothing happened. And there's some minor rust. Well, also, but only a little bit. Only, 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 only a little bit robust. Not much. So, what do you say? Nothing, McQueen. We would have to plan the next steps, which would be to rip this all apart, I guess. Destroy it a little bit, but mostly just screws that were rusted in there. Yeah. Nice.